what's going on everybody uh welcome to the channel today it will be the first day out of 100 days hopefully if i complete this challenge for 100 days of code with python i'll be following along a course by app brewery and the only rule that i have for myself is to complete the 100 days of code and i don't have to do it in any order so without further ado uh, enjoy the video So the first thing we did for day one is set up our uh, coding environment. And uh, you, you can see here that I tried to set up Visual Studio Code, uh, but the instructor actually suggested to use something called, I think Replit is what it's called. And it's, it's a web-based, uh, it's, it's like an editor plus a console. So, and you can run your code right there and then it will show up. I probably won't stick with it for a while, but it was just easy to get started. But yeah, so today we went over variables and how to work with variables. We also looked at the print function and the input function. So how you can print to the console using the print function and how you can grab user input by um, via the input function. And for our project for today, we're gonna be building a band name generator. So we'll grabbing input from the user and based on those uh, inputs, we'll, we'll generate a band name for them. Uh, I just wanted to share this really cool tool called Thony or Thony. It's really cool because it shows you every single step a program takes. It's helpful for debugging as well as just understanding what the code is doing. Uh, as for the project, it's actually pretty uh, straightforward. We're asking the user where they grew up and then we're asking them for a pet name. And then all we're doing is just adding those two strings together and making a new string that'd be their band name. So pretty much we're utilizing the input function to ask them a question and receive a value. That value is a type string and then we can concatenate it to form a new string value and that's and that value becomes the band name. Of course, we want to set these to uh, a variable so that we can actually use it later in the in the code. And that is day one of 100 days of code with Python. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode.